Okay, down here. Well, here's my trim. It's kind of laid out on the table saw table. I can't see what I'm shooting. I can't get up high enough to show the whole piece. But uh, that's with my pilot holes. Let me see. I guess it look, makes any sense to show it laid out like that anyway. But uh, the way the light reflects off of this, I can't see what I'm doing. So now I can finish them over here and get the other one. Now I can finish them and. Uh, and I didn't put two rows of holes because, you know, the floor moves a lot in that in our house. And so, unless I have to, I'm not going to put any, like if it's kicking out or something. I don't think it will. I held it up there. That way, if the bottom vanity moves, because it's in two pieces, the, not vanity, but the uh, linen cabinet is in two pieces. That's why it needs trim in between them. So, uh, if... Uh, Floor moves any. See, I just rounded that off of the meat, so it looks fine. I've seen that. They used to do that. I've seen it all. The time. I used to, when I was a cabinet maker. I used to see those trim guys do that all the time. Looks fine once it gets finished and everything. You don't really see it unless it's way out in the open. <coughs> but uh, anyway, there's uh, nothing to nail to. Some of that's open over there, so nail to that side and then. And then over there, that's the one between the two uh, linen cabinets. There's a gap in between them. Uh, the other one screwed up to the wall and never did take it down. The top one and the bottom one. And there's about a three, I've seen as much as about a half inch or more gap, depending on where the floor is. So if they're nailed together, then it's just going to break that trim off of there. That's what I'm thinking.